Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So right now people are thinking that you know what markets have risen too much and should I probably wait for a correction, there will be dip in the market, then I will use my money and buy stocks because they are rally the chutput gai hai. So I will buy on dips. So this is one. Is your thought process right? The short answer is yes and no. It is right because there is going to be a correction in the market. When I will speak about it on the video, I will show you the last 20 year history of the market will give you very good macro commentary. You would not have heard this type of commentary anywhere. I had to put in a lot of work, a lot of research in order to prepare this video. So a humble thumbs up on this video, a simple like button would indicate to me that you would want me to make these type of macro videos also. Along the way, I will do stock specific commentary. I will speak about how you can structure your investment style. Extremely, extremely video because I am applying a bunch of lessons that I will be teaching you and you will get a very good handle. Kya aapko SIPs karni chahiye? Individual stocks at this point, should you be buying or not? What type of individual stocks you could consider at? What is the level of correction you can witness in the market in the short term, long term? So I will give you complete information on that bit, all backed by facts. So let's kick start without further ado. Number one, can the markets fall? The short answer is yes. Now let's start with the worst case scenario that what is the worst case scenario at least from a short to mid term that it looks like so that number comes out to be roughly 19% fall in the market. Now this number I have out so I will just explain it to you in two minutes. So let's look at the technical chart of Nifty and let us just focus on this current recent section and what you will notice is this range right so it's very very important to think about stock markets in range it's not a point based system it's a range based system now this is a very important range so to say because here the market was consolidated hua tha, and it consolidated for close to two years in this range right so if you take the top of the market where we currently are and if you draw this line right so this seems like a major support is the midpoint jo hai, and this comes out to be roughly 17,500 and therefore the total total fall that I see in the market in the event of a decent correction comes out to be negative 19%, right? So this is how much the market can fall. Now, will it definitely fall by 19%? The short answer is we don't know. Yes, it will fall someday. And I will explain that to you also, ki 19-20% correction will be there for sure in the market. But will it definitely fall now, right? In the next one month, three months, six months? That is a very hard estimate for anyone to run. But it is very important for us to know what is the worst case scenario in the market as of now. So for me, that worst case scenario right now seems to be negative 19%. So I hope that this first critical point is clear to everyone. So now comes the second question that is the market overvalued right now? Because if the market is overvalued, then they are, there is a very high chance that next three months mein there will be correction or next two months mein, or maybe like, you know, next week itself that there will be correction. So is the market overvalued? So let me give you a very quick commentary there and two points that you need to know. One is that see in the short term is the market overvalued. So here you have a concept pata hona chahiye, which is called a Santa Claus rally. Right? So Santa Claus rally simply means when holiday season hota hai, in the US, Western countries, FIIs, etc. So what they do is that fund managers during that time, during like early part of December, they sell their portfolio, then they come back and then they reinvest their money. So typically there is a rally that is seen during the Christmas time. So this typically happens, Christmas New Year time. Pe. Now today the markets opened up, I am making this video on Tuesday. The markets did not shoot up quite aggressively the way it used to be in the past or generally, jo typical year. Mein hota hai. So short term does not look very exciting. There is a high chance that the markets are going to show a retracement most likely in January. Now this is very crude data. I am also guessing here. I am also basing it on historic averages. And given the fact that the markets have given a run up in the last one, one and a half months, there is a very good chance that there will be a slight correction in the market. Now does it mean that you should sell your portfolio and go away? No. So please listen to this section very, very carefully. This brings me to the next point that see from a long term perspective, the markets are not overvalued. Now, why am I saying it? So for this, let me show you data from roughly 2015 all the way up until now. So this is decadal data. So this year's data I am showing you almost 10 years. And the total returns have been how much? So the total returns have been 135%. So on a CAGR perspective or yearly return perspective, this will not be more than 11, 11.5%, which is bad returns given the fact that stock investing is a riskier form of investing. So 11, 11.5% is not very good returns. Markets are still undervalued if we are considering the long term viewpoint here. Add to this the macro data that record amount of money printing has been done post COVID. 
even that has not been factored into this this mix so therefore i am saying that on a long term perspective the markets are not overvalued in fact according to my analysis they are still undervalued so now comes the next critical point as to how the markets are likely to behave in 2024 so let me give you a very quick technical perspective there and then i will back it up by sharing some data so the first scenario in the market in 2024 would be aggressive scenario now there will be interest rate cuts and there are elections both in india and the us so there is a very good chance that the markets might behave like this that it will keep on going up yaar ye 25000 ke aas pass touch kar jaye 25000 in india it retraces from time to time because it will not go up in straight lines so it will behave something like this but generally this is the trend that it will follow so here we are looking at end of the year scenario somewhere around like 26 27000 that can be easily achieved and if there is enough euphoria who knows we might even hit 30000 now this is bagged on two major macroeconomic triggers one is political elections that are happening interest rate cuts that are happening and also the data that i just shared with you ki aap 10 saal ke basis pe to markets are still undervalued so hitting this 25 30k is that a possibility definitely so that is a very very big possibility that can happen but at the same time you must also understand that these gains will not be achieved in a straight line fashion so see this either nahi jayega there will always be retracement those are dips that you need to buy hamesha aapko badhte mahe market mein if you keep on buying and then you are chasing a running bus and suddenly there is like 5 10% correction then you will start fretting so you should always have your investment strategy sorted accordingly the second would be a moderate case scenario so here is tarike ki box formation hogi right so this was box 1 right so this is where the market consolidated and if you were buying the market in the last one and a half years between 15000 to 17000 you would have been okay right so this was the range so this range for here comes out to be roughly 21500 all the way to 24500 roughly year in chalegi right in the mid case or moderate case scenario i feel that this is where we are likely to be in the first half of 2024 this is what my estimate is abhi then you will say ki yeah, you know what akshat then we should be buying very heavily at 21500 levels no aap thoda sa dekh lo abhi we have to wait because consolidation has not happened at 21500 abhi to markets have hit 21500 it has not really breached that level in a sustained fashion once that happens there is some margin of safety that is created that is when you should be buying more stuff now third scenario is the depressing scenario or the correction scenario now here you need to understand the concept of correction and iske liye aapko thodi si history you have to see you have to go back look at the history prepare your portfolio accordingly so preparing for scenario 2 and 3 is critical because scenario 1 if you have been watching my video if you have been a follower of my member community aapka portfolio already bahut acha hoga and it might be very much in green and doing exceptionally well so scenario 1 ho gaya to to balle balle right i mean we'll be making a lot of money no doubt about that but a sensible investor always prepare for any type of market so let me have a very brief conversation on scenario 2 and 3 as to what is it that you should be knowing fundamentally speaking so okay so let me show you some history historic data and let me talk about a few central points so from 2000 i will show you the entire story and talk about some key points right 2000 era was the dot com crash and the market corrected quite a lot right so this was a deep correction in the market now what is the meaning of deep correction deep correction means that if there is more than 20 percent correction that is typically considered as a start of a bear run and that is considered to be a deep correction right so there were multiple years when such deep corrections have happened for example 2000 was one era then there was 2008 which started from somewhere here then there was another deep correction in 2010 then there was another deep correction somewhere in 2015 this was due to china us trade war and then finally there was a deep correction in 2020 now if you study corrections and i've been spending like weeks studying this and ek baat nikal ke aati hai and if you have to categorize it so there are two types of deep correction deep correction i hope everyone gets it that there is 20 percent correction but there are two variants to this deep correction so the first type of deep correction is called as fundamental correction for example aapne 2008 crisis ka suna hoga that in the us some of the big biggest banks they went bankrupt that was a fundamental issue in the way the investment banking world was designed or commercial banking world was designed there was lack of regulatory oversight the investment banks or banks in general they ended up creating very toxic derivative products Uske baad, on derivative instruments there was a lot of regulation which came out in 2010 there was another round of very serious regulation the second category of corrections are event specific corrections Yaha pe there is a lot of uncertainty 
पीपल डू नॉट नो वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन नेक्स्ट एंड दे फील वेरी इफी कि यार पता नहीं यार स्टॉक मार्केट ऐसा तो नहीं खत्म ही हो जाएगा राइट एंड आई फील लाइक वेरी ट्रबल्ड इन्वेस्टिंग एंड पुटिंग लाइक न्यू मनी दिस दैट सो दीज आर इवेंट स्पेसिफिक फॉर एग्जाम्पल रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर वॉज वन एग्जाम्पल मोर सीरियस एग्जाम्पल वॉज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कोविड क्रैश ये सेट इम्पैक्ट द इकोनॉमिक आउटलुक ऑफ द इकोनॉमी नो डाउट अबाउट दैट बट द सीरियसनेस और द इकोनॉमिकल सीरियसनेस of these type of corrections is much much graver compared to these type of event specific correction this is a very important point for you to understand now setting in 2024 how do we need to process this information see earlier at the start of the video i spoke about the fact that hey there is a 19% downside which is the worst case scenario now see the more than 19% case will play out in the event there is a fundamental correction that is my understanding now if something like 2008 crisis wali cheez ho jaye what would be that trigger point according to me i had made a separate video in the past according to me that will be the collapse of debt or if there is like sudden issue in the us in terms of their debt repayment and bunch of other different things which looks very very unlikely as of now the way this debt crisis is likely to play out in the world will play out from the china angle as far as i know yahan pe hoga ye ki chinese own a lot of us debt and they will sell it in the open market now if that situation aggravates that is where issues around us debt could take place and that will hit the world market and it will be a fundamental issue tab 19 20 to kya tab to 40 50 40 50 percent correction can easily happen are we very close to that the short answer is no i do not see that happening at least for the next 3 years the chinese economy right now is very weak to do that at least as of now they might do it when they become powerful but at least as of now the world has already gone through one round of crises even china has gotten impacted india has gotten impacted western countries have gotten impacted so no one is going to kill the golden egg laying economy so wo ekdam khatam ekdam se nahi karenge some issues is going to pop up right and in the future and it's most likely going to be the debt issue that according to me is a major correction point now of course these are my estimates i can be wrong but yes coming back to the topic i feel that the fundamental issue sitting in 2024 is the debt crisis issue it's not going to play out as of now the second could be an event specific risk for example another round of covid or something new might happen in the economy who knows in that event i look at a 19 20% correction if there is a more correction then it will be a very sharp recovery right so this is a likely scenario and therefore i am putting the base number as negative 20% even for 2024 now another key thing that has happened in the indian ecosystem is or even at a world ecosystem but more prominently in india is the rise of liquidity providers or market makers let me explain that scenario by using the study of lic now lic holds one of the biggest purse or biggest portfolio in the indian market that single handedly can be directed by the government गवर्नमेंट बोली भाई एल आई सी यहाँ यहाँ इन्वेस्ट कर दो राइट एंड दे विल गो एंड डू दी इन्वेस्टमेंट देर नाउ आई विल जस्ट लीव इट टू यूर इमेजिनेशन वेर इज इन्वेस्ट दिस दैट बट सी एल आई सी इज वॉट एल आई सी इन अ वे इज अ मार्केट मेकर सो टू से एंड इट कैन एब्जॉर्ब अ लॉर्ड ऑफ शॉक्स दैट माइट हैपन इन दी इकोनॉमी दिस इज बोथ गुड न्यूज एंड बैड न्यूज बिकॉज आप ऐसे सोच के देखो वैन टू थाउजेंड एंड एट क्राइसिस हैपन दी पर्स ऑफ एल आई सी वॉज वॉट इट वॉज क्लोज टू फोर थाउजेंड बिलियन डॉलर्स Now in 2014 it was close to 15,000. अब अब तो बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया होगा. I was not able to find the new number, but you tell me as of now. Now इसे होता क्या है? And again, I will take you to the technical patterns here. What you will notice is this: that these are your trading volumes, right? So आप देख रहे हो the height of these volumes and what were the volumes or trading volumes in the Indian market back in like 2014-15. It has gone up by almost 3x, 4x, right? So ये बहुत बड़ी volumes है. And अभी भी अच्छी खासी volume पे even now a lot of volume is coming into the Indian stock market. So to say so in the event of a crash right who do you think provided liquidity for example let's imagine that in 2024 some big crisis comes and everyone starts selling 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 right now if we have market makers at the opposite side with very big purses like lic they will be able to buy it and stabilize the market so this is the scenario and therefore i feel that this 19 20% correction is the max correction that we are likely to see at least for the next 1 to 2 years this is a point that i'm over emphasizing because aap ek bar downside samajh loge then there's a very good chance that you will be able to build more sensible positions as per whatever your dynamics indicate so now comes the next question that okay when is the market going to correct by 20% well it can correct any time this trigger event can happen 6 months from now or one year from now or two year from now now see please do not waste your time just waiting for this event to happen ki yaar jab gir jayega na then only i'm going to buy it this that stuff if you have your sips please continue to run them there is no problem per se please understand that what type of an investor you are are you a short term investor mid term investor long term investor and 
more importantly you must understand your downside to the entire thing for example right now i told you that a 19 20% correction is what we are looking at max worst case scenario once you understand the worst case scenario start working backwards then okay 19 20% if the market falls what is your strategy so you have to build it i am enabling my community members to build such a strategy by talking more about opportunity fund creating opportunity fund how to stagger your investment portfolio how to stagger your sips in case you want to learn all these things fundamentally and in a structured manner i run a course you can take a look it's a live crash course if you are investing more than 5 6 lakh rupees in the stock market definitely i would recommend that you join it it's a wonderful course you will understand a lot of things critically taught macroeconomically technically fundamentally business analysis kaise karte hain given my bad ground in management consulting i teach all the frameworks that you need to know in a structured manner in order to invest along with your full time job so along with the courses comes access to free member community also so you will be put on that community and you will get to practice everything that i am teaching for close to a year uske baad aap khud seekh jaoge invest karna you will be able to understand all these critical points on your own so anyways coming back to the topic now you might have the view point that there will be 19 20% correction हो जाने दो आई विल बाय इट देन नाउ सी द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट वी डोंट नो टू व्हाट पॉइंट द स्टॉक मार्केट माइट राइज फर्स्ट सो फॉर एग्जांपल इट माइट वेरी वेल हैपन दैट वी माइट वेरी वेल रीच हियर 26 27000 एंड देन देयर इज अ 20% करेक्शन राइट आप बैठे रह जाओगे राइट दिस इज यार दैट सो दैट्स जस्ट नॉट वर्थ इट बिकॉज़ यू कुड हैव सोल्ड अ लॉट ऑफ स्टफ हियर इन दिस जोन आल्सो इफ यू हैड समथिंग टू सेल राइट पॉइंट नंबर 2 हियर इज दैट यू मस्ट स्टॉप इन्वेस्टिंग इन द मार्केट व्हेन इट इज वेरी क्लियर कि यार एब्सोल्यूट ओवरवैल्यूएशन हो चुका है सो दैट साइन इज नॉट देयर ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट इफ यू फील दैट द market is fundamentally weak then you stop investing so it makes sense so even that indication is not there now how can you figure out that the markets are not fundamentally weak well you look at corporate earnings so for example let me show you two three stocks here so one of my favorite right now is hdfc bank i still feel that it is at a good level and aap dekh sakte ho right it has started to actually give a bounce back from 1450 levels and abhi acha khasa up move dikha raha hai and going forward it is likely to do well as per my understanding now yahan pe if you have to talk about corporate earnings or corporate results you will see kya हाइस्ट एवर प्रॉफिट्स में बैठे हुए हैं हाइस्ट एवर सेल्स में बैठे हुए हैं नो इश्यूज वॉट अबाउट एफ एम सी जी कंपनी सो टेक अ लुक एट हिंदुस्तान यून लेवर राइट सो अगेन दिस इज वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट स्टॉक्स अगेन हाइस्ट एवर सेल्स हाइस्ट एवर प्रॉफिट नो इशूज देयर नो वॉट अबाउट एसेट मैनेजमेंट कंपनी सो यहाँ पे निपॉन देख लेते हैं आप एच डी एफ सी भी देखोगे देन ऑल्सो इट सेम सो अगेन हाइस्ट एवर रेवेन्यूज ऑलमोस्ट हाइस्ट एवर सेल्स नो प्रॉब्लम हेयर सो द कॉर्पोरेट रिजल्ट आर गुड हेयर ऑल्सो नाउ देर आर अ सेट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल फार्मा इंडस्ट्री राइट देर वॉज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम द स्टॉक्स करेक्टेड क्वाइट अ लॉट नाउ दे आर बाउंसिंग बैक्स टूडे फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू लुक एट स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स फार्मा स्टॉक्स दे हैव डन एक्सेप्शनली वेल इन फैक्ट आई मेड अ पोस्ट इन माई मेम्बर कम्युनिटी ऑल्सो थ्री फोर डेज बैक रिगार्डिंग द फैक्ट दैट इट इज अ वेरी गुड स्विंग कैंडिडेट सो इवन हियर इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट द रिजल्ट विल बी वेरी गुड ओनली हैंडफुल ऑफ सेक्टर्स आर नॉट डूइंग वेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैनुफैक्चरिंग is not doing exceptionally well in india but to cut the long story short india was never a manufacturing oriented economy to begin with manufacturing india ne achhi kari nahi hai and therefore almost 70 80% of my portfolio is in pure finance i feel that it is going to become a multi bagger kind of a sector if you are a patient player who has a 8 10 year view point simply finance stocks pakdo highest profit margins india is getting more formalized a bunch of good things happening from that perspective so all are solid stocks from a 8 10 year view point so aise sectoron mein you should build big enough position and be cool about it but log zabardasti piche bhagte rahenge right so for example jaise it stocks so let me show you it stocks also now when i was buying it index for example take a look at my positions here i had invested more than a crore on it index i did not run about ke like infosys khareed lete hain ye falana dinga company khareed lete hain no nothing like that right again highest ever sales highest ever profits no problem per se all you simply need to do is that be patient buy when things are inexpensive right so when did i buy it stocks right jab ye sab cheeze pit chuki thi and now they have given 25% run up now people are asking me should i buy like it stocks bhai i don't know right whether you should be buying it stocks not buying it stocks now i can't comment whether this is sensible pe or not for example right now the pe is somewhere around 25 26 now this is baseline pe now i can't say whether it is overvalued or undervalued i am being very very honest with you no one knows whether this is overvalued or undervalued but at one point in time this was definitely undervalued you should have bought a lot more now if you have missed the bus then you look at other sectors for example pharma ho gaya specialty chemicals ho gaya for example certain psu banks for example sbi hasn't given a very good up move so to say tomorrow i am going to write a detailed post on some of the undervalued stocks that i feel i will do it segment wise mid cap large cap small cap so that you guys get an idea so i'll make this post in the member community but for now i will answer some of the most important faqs that are there in the market number 1 should you stop your sips the short answer is no you should not stop it because we don't know to what point the 
the stock market will rise first right so this is point one but does it mean that you should invest in full throttle right if for example aap दस हजार रुपये डालते थे यूज टू इन्वेस्ट टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज नाउ ऑल्सो एक सिस्टम ही बना लिया दैट यू नॉट यू कंटिन्यू टू इन्वेस्ट लाइक टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज ओनली इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वट एवर इज हैपनिंग नो नथिंग लाइक दिस प्लीज क्रिएट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ फंड फॉर यू टू बाय द डिप्स नाउ दैट डिप माइट हैपन इन द नेक्स्ट वन मंथ इट माइट हैपन इन नेक्स्ट थ्री मंथ्स इट माइट हैपन इन नेक्स्ट वन ईयर हू नोज बट मेजर ऑफ योर मनी शुड बी एलोकेटेड ड्यूरिंग द डिप्स सो टू सी इफ यू हैव नो मनी टू इन्वेस्ट वेन देर इज अ ट्वेंटी परसेंट करेक्शन या दैट्स अ बैड साइन ओके सो दिस इज पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू शुड यू बल्क बाय नाउ well it depends on what you are bulk for example if you are buying stocks that are rebounding it might make sense but if you are buying something like a small finance bank right now which i have been a big advocate of ab yaar they have hit their all time high now if you are looking to buy them might not make sense or at least bulk buy them so to say there is literally zero point from that perspective third key point that some stocks for example angel one punjab national bank all these stocks have been there in my portfolio they have all given like 100 100% run up should you go and buy them the short answer is no you should not be buying them you should figure out a peer stock right which is similar to it and which has not given a run up but fundamentally it is almost at that same podium now what according to me are two best sectors so to say so it really depends on what your vision is what your timeline is for example according to me finance is the best sector for the next 3 year next 5 years next 10 years in the indian market now this is a big bet that i have taken of course i can be wrong but abhi aisa lag nahi raha ki i am wrong about that i am already sitting on very good profits and it's unlikely that without the growth in finance sector other sectors in india can grow so wo hona bahut mushkil hai right so therefore i am very very bullish on finance sector short mid long term perspective okay so this is one the second is that if you are looking at extreme short term perspective then here you should pick sectors where you can swing so for this it becomes specialty chemicals and pharma these two sectors look really good as of now i am studying them more i will be putting a bit of my money into these swing trades and i will make an additional video in case you guys are interested i might launch it in my hindi channel whenever i get time and i will put the links in the description and comment box i hope you enjoyed this brief conversation aapko idea lag gaya hoga macroeconomics ka and all that stuff so i hope that you regear your portfolio accordingly and are able to enjoy the gains that you are making thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon